Your meeting is over. When will we leave? That's what I wanted to see you about. We are booked on tomorrow's plane for Beirut, but there might be a delay. I have a meeting with your father tonight. You're not going to give me away. I would not have dared leave the school in Montreux if I... No, he knows nothing about this. Yasfia has business with him. What kind of business? We want your father to handle investments for us. He can purchase material and supplies that we cannot possibly get near. I don't trust him. My father sympathizes only with money and power. Justice and the suffering of people mean nothing to him. Your father is an Arab. He is not. He is more Western than Arab. Otherwise, he would not have divorced my mother to marry that woman. It is the same with his business. It would not surprise me that he even trades with the Israelis, or that he has Western friends who are Jewish. Le temps s'améliorera demain, Monte Carlo. La température maximum sera d'environ 20 degrés. Un brouillard matinal le lendemain. What are you doing here? I'm all packed. Can you see him? He is water skiing with his son. Your brother? He is not my brother. He is the son of an American whore. Let's try to be fair. Your father needed sons. Your mother could bear no more children. You men are all alike. Come. What plane are we taking? The morning plane to Rome, then the one theater connection to Beirut. I wonder what my father would think if he knew I was here. The cow, you were told to keep your head down. You could have been picked off from a hundred yards away. Oh, come on, Hamid. These are only war games. Only war games. Those are real bullets they're using. One of you stupid women has already been killed, three wounded, and you call it games. Down! What the hell is going on up there? How should I know? You told me to keep my head down. You were supposed to be the advanced scout, you know. Will you tell me how I'm supposed to do both? Find out what's happening without raising my head out of the foxhole? You know, you're the only woman in that platoon I have not had. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to try to resist. This heat's worn me out. Come on. What's the matter with you? Hmm? Why so old-fashioned? Maybe I could teach you how to relax and have some fun. Huh? I doubt it. <laughs> you may have taught me how to use this gun, but how to enjoy sex, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> I did not doubt that for a minute. <laughs> I was only worried you'd get out of practice. <laughs> Move! You are to return to Beirut to your mother's home. You will be contacted then and directed to your next assignment. Is that all, ma'am? Nothing else? That is all at this time. But don't worry. You will hear from us. But how will I know? Isn't there a code or somewhere I will be sure of? When the call comes, you will know. For now, your assignment is to go home and wait. You will not involve yourself or go near any political groups, no matter how sympathetic they are to our cause. You will keep your own counsel and remain within the normal social confines of your family. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Dismissed.
know you owe me something. I do? What? Well, there were 14 girls in your platoon. You're the only one I did not go to bed with. <laughs> Poor fellow. I'm sorry. Uh, well, you should be. 13 is an unlucky number. Something bad will happen because of it, too. You wait and see. I doubt it. Look at it this way. You have something to look forward to. I'll strike a bargain. If we ever meet again, no matter where, we make music together. Agreed. <laughs> sort of thing to them. What do you mean by you? I'm only a mercenary. I'm paid to teach you what to do in these stupid wars. Come on. Did I tell you 13 was an unlucky number? Oh. I ordered two just in case you came. Sir. Thank you. Well, I've decided to leave tomorrow. Home? Yes, to Damascus. I've heard they need instructors in the Syrian army. Why not? Nothing going on for me here, eh? I don't understand it. I haven't heard a word in this almost a month now. Maybe they think I was killed with all the others. Why don't they call me? I didn't go through all that training to sit here at my mother's house. Just be patient. Your orders were to wait until you were contacted, right? Do you have to go? What do you really want to do? I want to make a lot of money like your father. My father? Don't talk about him. You remember that bargain we made? No, what was it? Would you like me to come back to that room of yours? <laughs> That's the most sensible thing you've said today. Shall we? and it's not happening for me in school. Too many important things are going on out there and I want to be a part of it. Exactly what is it you want to do? I would like to work for you. Doing what? I could be your assistant. Mother always said I should have been a boy, that I was exactly like you. <laughs> I'm afraid not. All my assistants have had special training for their positions. Much of that work is highly technical and specialized. I don't mean right away. I could start as a clerk or maybe a secretary. Why couldn't I go to school right here and work for you part time? <laughs> Let me think about it. You know, I must talk to your mother first. Why? You never talked to her about me before. Is that what she said? Yes. Why didn't you ever want to see us after you left? Well, uh, it's not uh, exactly true. But it doesn't matter now. You're here, and I'm seeing you. Where are you staying? With a girlfriend. Her family lives across the lake. Swiss? Would you rather stay there, or would you like to move in here with me? Whatever you would like. Get your things together, then. 
Can you be back here in time for dinner? I think so. Very good. I have work to do. Thank you, Father. Don't thank me. After all, I am your father, aren't I? <laughs> 